Jake, six games unbeaten in the league. That's two wins in a row now. The morale must be sky high in the dressing room. Yeah, um, we've got good momentum at the moment. Um, like you said, obviously, with six games, six games unbeaten. Um, you know, we've kept quite a few clean sheets this year, which obviously stands us in good stead. So, yeah, the, the, camp, the morale in the camp's high at the moment. So, yeah, long may it continue. The injury to Jack has meant that you filled in on the left. How do you feel like you've adapted from changing from your natural side? Yeah, obviously, I think every game I've grown into the position. I think, um, you know, I've tried to bring my attributes over from the right side to the left side and, you know, impact the team in a positive way. So, yeah, obviously, it's working at the moment. So, yeah, I'll just obviously try and continue what I'm doing at the moment. So, you, you, got the scunth- you got the assist against Scunthorpe. Is that something that Matt has asked you to do? Is play higher, get to the byline? Uh, yeah, obviously, I think uh, as a wing back, you know, you need to contribute both defensively and attackingly. So, um, getting assists and and also keeping clean sheets is just as important as each other. So, um, yeah, obviously, I, on the left, obviously, I'm I'm playing wing back, so I need to you know get to the byline and get us up the pitch. And you know, with um, I'm, that's obviously one of my attributes is obviously driving with the ball. So, whether I'm on the right or left, that, that's what I need to do if I'm in the team. You've come close on a couple of occasions. Does it feel like you're going to bag your first goal this season? Yeah, obviously, playing on the left, I'm obviously able to, to come in on my stronger foot. Um, so, yeah, obviously, I've had quite a few shots this season. So, you know, hopefully um, one of them flies in. Have you got a celebration for when it happens? Uh, no, nah, <laughs> I haven't actually got one. So I'll probably just freestyle on the spot when it does happen. Now, um, we, we've travelled nearly 2,500 miles already this season and Saturday is another long one. Is it better to do this earlier in the season or would you rather it be staggered across the whole season? Um, I don't think it makes much of a difference. I think you've got to do them at some point anyway during the season. So whether you do them at the start, beginning or end, I don't really think it makes a difference. Um, it's got to be done at some point. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't really think it makes too much of a difference when you do it. It's, it's got to be done at some point anyway. Hartlepool have had a solid start to the season so far. They've got a 100% home record. How have preparations been this week? Yeah, I think the standard in, the standard in training has been, has been brilliant. I think all, not just this week, but all throughout the season and, and pre-season as well. So I think, you know, we, we obviously know our strengths. Um, we know their strengths and we're going to go there and try and implement our game on them. And hopefully, you know, it'll be a good game and we can get a positive result. I mean, it's two recently promoted sides in a week. Um, are you expecting quite as a tight affair like it was against Sutton or are you hoping for something a little bit more open? Um, I think every team obviously has their own style of play. I'm sure Hartlepool's will be different from Sutton, so it may look like a different a different game. So, um, But however, whatever the game looks like, you know, we'll try and adapt and, you know, impose, you know, our game on them. And um, hopefully, you know, like I said, we get a positive result. 